Hi all, welcome back to Prashika's world. Hope you all are doing great. So a few weeks back, this is how the climate looked in the mid of the day and it started to rain. And this is what I made that day. Doesn't it look delicious? Hmm. Before that, if you are new to my channel, please do consider subscribing and join my YouTube family. So today's recipe is going to be potato cheese balls. What would you need for the recipe? Ingredients are very simple. Please take a quick screenshot of the same and we can begin with the recipe now. So you need one capsicum, two chilies, half boiled corn, two boiled potatoes, 3 to 4 cloves of garlic, breadcrumbs. So in a bowl, I have added these ingredients. First, boiled potato, corn, capsicum, chilies, ginger garlic paste, oregano, chili flakes, chopped garlic, 3 to 4 cloves, Salt as per taste, 1 spoon maida, 3 spoons of breadcrumbs. Now the main ingredient, cheese. Cheese is very important here, so please do ensure you put sufficient amount of cheese. Otherwise, the dish doesn't come well. So, Get this mixed well and this is our major mixture. Now in a bowl, you need to add 3 spoons of maida. And then slowly keep adding water so that you actually form a batter. Ensure this is not very thin or very thick, it should be moderate like how it is here now add salt as per taste and a pinch of pepper that's it the mixture is ready and you also need to have a cup of breadcrumbs now start making small balls round or cylindrical shape dip it into maida and then with breadcrumbs Repeat this step once again to have a really good outer section. Now this will give you a very nice crunchy flavor. A few moments later. Now this is ready to fry. Ensure you gently place this inside a pan. Gently turn this and ensure this doesn't break. So Meanwhile, don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well as Facebook. And it is finally ready. See how crispy this is? Now let me break and show you how this looks inside. It has cooked really well. So, to make the tandoori dips, you would need Sichuan sauce, mayonnaise, hot and sweet tomato chili sauce, and fresh tomato ketchup. Mix all this, take one spoon of each and mix this well in equal quantities and your tandoori mayonnaise is ready. I must say, it tastes so well with this. And that's it. Please go ahead and try this and let me know how you liked it. If you liked my video, then please don't forget to like and share it with your friends. Oh my god! Wow! Always stay connected and thank you so much for watching. Until my next video, stay happy and stay safe my friends. Goodbye!